CBS2 Health is always on CBS2Chicago.com. Don't miss CSI tonight on CBS, America's most watched network. This right here is the last of it. Uh, I'm sure there's still some odds and ends floating around. I found these things oh, in the back of the car. Thank you, Emma. Thank you for taking such good oh, care of Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. Look at the chair. Hey, where are you going? <laughs> Fishing. Uh, don't you think it's a little late to be shooting hoops? Well, Kevin's dad put a light over the garage. Well, what, what about all this stuff? Was it my idea to move out? <gasps> Luke. Um... How about we wait till Luke gets home and he can help you bring the stuff upstairs, okay? All right, fine. The stuff, this luggage, it's not going anywhere, so... Hope not. Oh, look who's here. Jake. Hi. Hi, everyone. So, um, look, I'm sorry I didn't make it to the ceremony. Oh, that's okay. We understand. How, how are you? Uh, I'm surviving. Anyway, this is for you. Oh, thank you. And I'm not going to stay long because I know you guys are busy. Well, you want to stay for dinner? We have a lot of leftovers. Uh, no, no, I have things to do, but congratulations. How about dinner on Sunday? Um, uh, I'll let you know. I'm gonna try and catch up with Meg. Good luck. Meg? Mama, I gotta go. Why? What's so important you can't spend five minutes with your family? because I'm unemployed and unattached doesn't mean I don't have a life, okay? I have things to do. Susan Stewart, uh, called me. Emily told her that uh, she saw medical supplies and syringes in your handbag. What's going on, Meg? What are you up to? Ah, oh! <laughs> <laughs> I know, I swore. I swore I'd never say I told you so, but I told you so. You two are so right together. Oh, I oh, guess we deserve that. You were right. Mm -hmm. Don't you forget it. Okay. <laughs> How are the girls? Oh, honey, they're just wonderful. They're wonderful. And they're <laughs> destroying their rooms in Mummy's honor. They're thrilled to be home. Oh. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for helping them get back settled. Oh, oh well, Faith is my, my sweetie pie, and as for... Natalie, she's so lovely. It's only Luke I'm a little worried about. Sorry I'm late. It's okay. You okay? You said you had news. Um. What's up? Well, I just, I wanted to tell you, I, I, I wanted you to hear it from me. I served Mike with divorce papers. Oh, hey, Barbara, thanks for coming over. You've reconsidered my offer? Uh, well, I've, I've given it some thought, yeah, and I realize that I'm really in no position to turn down a job at this time. And you realize that my offer does have a caveat. I give you a job. You keep your sister away from my son. Right, the caveat. I <laughs> got it. Caveat. Yes. And don't think it's going to be easy, because those two people, despite their young age, are quite attached. The problem is it's a rather unhealthy attachment. So you agree with me? They don't belong together? Well, Barbara, let's just put it this way. If you need help breaking them up, you've come to the right place. I told you I'd find a nice warm bed, and I did. Oh, you're the best. Man, did we need some good news. Well, we got it. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm starting to panic there. No, everything's going to be OK. So where are we going? Uh, Aunt Kim and Uncle Bob's. Dr. Hughes is going to let us stay with them, even though we're not married or anything? Yeah, it's, uh, it's not a problem. Why not? I mean, I, I thought he was, like, some pillar of the community. No, it's not an issue. You're going to move in with them, and I'm going to 
stay someplace else. So what's it gonna be, Henry? Huh? You gonna help me ditch the car and keep the cash, or do we both go to jail? What do you want me to do, Emily? You want me to trust you after you almost took my head off? What am I saying? You tried, you killed a man! Yeah, and I'm holding a briefcase full of money that you stole. Oh, no, no way. Do not put us in the same category. I am, at worst, an opportunist. Yeah, well, here's your opportunity. You help me push Paul's car into the river, and, and we both... And ipso facto, I'm an accessory. Yeah, well, presto change -o, you're already an accessory, Henry! Unless, of course, you decide to turn me in. At which point, I will turn you in. What? What did, what did you do exactly, Emily? Did he did fall, hit his head, and then you failed to call an ambulance in time? Did you poison his waffles? What? You want details? Yeah, I, yeah, I want details. All right, well, I'll tell you the whole gruesome truth. After you help me ditch the car. No. If I'm gonna get my hands dirty, I wanna know how dirty they're gonna get. So, fess up, or you can find yourself another man. As the World Turns is sponsored by Tide to Go. It's Tide to the Rescue. Tide to Go. It's Tide to the Rescue. For tough jobs you thought only a dishcloth could handle, try Bounty. Bounty is so durable, just one sheet keeps working till the whole job's done. Bounty has reinforced quilts and sponge-like durability to rinse, spring, and reopen. Lab tests prove with Bounty you can scrub like this, and Bounty holds up till the job's done. So rinse it, reuse it, and throw it away. Thin lips? What a bore. For lips that say a whole lot more. Pump up the volume, pump up the volume. With Incredifull, a new volumizing lipstick from CoverGirl. An unparalleled formula with vita collagen and glycerin actually pulls outside moisture in. So lips stand out. Lips look instantly fuller, moister, have more pout. Make you want to twist and shout. Don't settle for thin. For lips that speak volumes. Pump up the volume. With new Incredifull in 24 incredible shades from Easy Breezy Beautiful CoverGirl. Fix-It-In Control leaves no gaps in a tight seal that works five times better to help keep out tough food particles. Fix-It-In Control. So you're telling me that I can get tons of great stuff for my home, like this new Whirlpool washer and dryer, and it's free until February 4th? Free until February 4th? What about this Sony TV? Yes, ma'am. Free until February 4th. And this? Yes. <laughs> what about this Ashley living room set? <laughs> free until February 4th. Oh, yeah? What about that laptop computer? <laughs> free until February 4th. Ready to be a pinched? <laughs> it's not a dream. No, it's not. <laughs> now at Rena Center, name brand items are free until February 4th. Call today, and you could have it in your home tonight. Call 1-800-205-2005 to connect with your local store. For years, I have used Pledge on my wood surfaces. Now I can use Pledge multi-surface on a lot of different surfaces. General household cleaning products are not appropriate for wood. Look for Pledge. They're the perfect people to come up with this. The beauty of Pledge for wood and beyond. Broccoli. I don't like broccoli. Chicken. I don't like chicken. Kids don't always eat everything they should. That's why there's PediaSure. It's a source of complete balanced nutrition for healthy growth. And now it's in a new reclosable bottle. PediaSure. Be sure. From the first joke to the last laugh, Dave keeps it real. All new tonight. How to clean up and organize all that extra stuff in your home. Tomorrow on The Early Show. Well, I wasn't about to make anything official without telling you, but I don't want you to feel that that makes you obligated to... To what? You know, make a commitment. I mean, that's not what this is about. So anyway, that's it. We can go up. Well, hold on a sec. Hold on. You want one of your uh, funny coffees? Or a glass of wine? Well, that depends. I'm glad you told me. I, I'm glad you're taking care of your business. 
moving on with your life. That's good, as it should be. Well, I, I just didn't want you to think that I did this because of you. I, I mean, I did it because of you and me. I just, I just don't want you to feel pressured. I don't, you can tell me anything. You know that. We're friends. Yeah, but now that we're more than friends... I'm not gonna blow our friendship because I'm in love with you. You see? You don't have to be scared to tell me things. I'm not going anywhere. So you're getting divorced. You're available. I'm in love with you. It's not what I call a hardship, but hey. This is our time, you know? Took a long time to get here. Let's enjoy it. No talking, no pushy. Fine, have it your way. I'll take my chances. You'll go to jail, Henry. 18 months, max. What did I do, Emily? I found some cash that belonged to a man who was trying to blow up a television station with everyone in it. Now, I don't think they're going to fire up the electric chair for that. Or as for you, maybe a little Gary Gilmore action. All right, all right, all right. Paul and I were supposed to get married. So we decided to meet at... It doesn't matter where we met, okay? Just somewhere where no one would find us. And Paul showed up and... He said he changed his mind. And I lost it. I freaked. Freaking led to... Shooting. That's it? He died. What? What else do you want me to say? I, I, I want... I want you to say that, uh, that when he broke your heart, you went crazy and you threw yourself on him and then you, you sobbed and you begged and you pleaded and then he, uh, he pulled out a gun, the why, I'll leave to your team of attorneys, and then you wrestled for it and then the gun went off. I brought the gun. <laughs> why? Because like, in case you were disappointed in the way he said his vows? <laughs> because I was afraid... I was afraid Hal would show up and try to stop the wedding. I just brought the gun for insurance, Henry. I never planned on using it. I never imagined I would use it on Paul. So, bottom line is you brought the gun and you shot Paul. Millie, sweetheart, uh, that's murder one. And that's the police. Which is why we have to get rid of the car. Please, Henry, please. I'm begging you, please help me. No, I don't think I'm ready for this. No, no. Okay, okay listen to me. Just listen to what I'm saying. They're going to search this entire area. They're going to find the car. They're going to find me. And then they're going to find you. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. And, and unless... Okay, fine. 18 months. 18 months behind bars. But Henry, listen to me. That is 18 months behind bars with men who don't play bridge. And no, no suitcase full of cash when you get out. Yeah, okay, you made your point. You made your point. Good point. Right, good. good point. Go. This, I'll help you with the car. Right, you got to go. help me stash the cash, okay? Fine, let's go. Go. <laughs> Easy. Is it true? Did you steal from the hospital? The hospital fired me, okay? As I understand it, you gave them no choice but to help yourself on the way out. Uh, look, if Susan Stewart had some real evidence, she would have gone to the board, and the board would have gone to the police. But she didn't. She just had Emily say so. And why anybody would ever listen to Emily, Man, I have no idea. It, stop it. Now, I don't care about Susan or, 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 or Emily. I don't care what they say or who they say it to. I care about you. 
and something is wrong. I know it. Mama, I just got dumped, okay? And fired. I mean, to, to, to leave the house and to move into Lakeview. I mean, and I know you can't afford it. And now this, drugs in your purse. Look, I'm not dealing drugs, okay? And as far as Lakeview goes, why can't I stay there? My money's as good as anybody's. What money? You don't have a job. Look, if Susan Stewart calls you again, do us both a favor and just hang up. Did Luke say something to you? Uh, no, not, not in so many words. Okay, then what are you basing this on? <sighs> Darling, what possessed you? To have Luke serve the champagne at the reception, given his history? What history? Teenagers experiment with alcohol. What teenage boy hasn't done yes, that? Yes, his history. And he has a new, a new kidney. And he's an adolescent. Having him dole out champagne is, is just... Mother. Did you see him take a drink? He said it was ginger ale. But I'm, I don't think I believe him. But you asked him about it. Oh, that's why I didn't want to talk to you, I'm sure. Well, darling, I mean, even if he wasn't drinking then, people who drink and drink that way, there is a reason. Luke has a million reasons not to drink. And when this happened before, it was because of peer pressure. And it didn't help that his father and I were having problems, but now it's different. He has a medical condition. He has to be extra careful. And we're trusting him to take that to heart, which is why we didn't think it'd be a problem if he was serving champagne at the reception. Mother. OK. Fine, okay. darling. It's all right, but something's off. I mean, at the reception, he seemed distracted and, and moody, and one would have thought the ceremony would make him happy. He's not happy. Anyway. Honey, it's okay. It's just that I'm... I'm rarely wrong about these things. <laughs> So I'm going to move in with your aunt and uncle without you. It's just until we can figure something out. You're right, they don't want us sleeping together, so... so they want me to stay with them instead of you. What Aunt Kim said exactly was that one of us could stay there. They mean you. They don't even know me. That's not true. Uncle Bob knows you from the hospital. Look, I'm not moving anywhere without you, so forget it. So you're willing to help me save my son? Well, I wouldn't put it that way exactly and how but would you yeah. put it carly because the last time we spoke frankly you were so adamant on the subject well you gotta understand something here barbara that baby that gwen thought was hers i took care of that baby for a long time and i guess i uh i guess i fell in love with him i mean who wouldn't he's your grandbaby you gotta mm -hmm. understand Anyway, so when Gwen got custody... You were willing to do whatever it took to appease her, even if it meant tanking my son's future. They wanted to be a family. And at the time, I thought it was the best situation for the baby. And for you, too. I mean, if the baby stayed in Gwen's life, you had a better chance of being more involved with him, right? <laughs> well, the baby is no longer in the picture. And Gwen has a chance now to get her life back on track. And this playing house with Will, I think, is a big distraction. I, mean, I really think she ought to finish high school, don't you? Maybe go on to college, maybe make something of her life. I couldn't agree more. Hmm. But it will be hard, because you're right. They are very involved. If I can get Gwen to move in here, Will to move back home... And go back to school. That's the idea. Okay, then. Show up at my suite tomorrow. I will start you to work, but I need some fresh ideas for that junior line. Okay. Oh! Okay. There's just one more little item. I could use an advance. An advance? Yeah, I know. It sounds crazy. I'm not talking about a lot of money here. Just a just thousand dollars for bills and such. You've been working for me for exactly one minute? And you think I'm going to fork over $1,000? <laughs> think again, Carly. <laughs> Ten years ago, I was in New York performing, and I collapsed on stage. I just fell on the floor. I passed out. Patty LaBelle has diabetes. I had no idea. My blood glucose level was 500. Food was the enemy back then. 
With One Touch Ultra, just a five second test before and after some meals helps you make better food choices. Today, I check my blood sugar. Watch what I eat. I have diabetes. Diabetes does not have me. One Touch changes everything. This year, I'm getting into this. Mm. This year, I'm hitting the gym every day. This year? I'm eating chocolate. And you can. Three Musketeers. Chocolate you love with 45% less fat. So this year, resolve to enjoy yourself. Whoa! That was washed? This time, add Jet Dry with Shine Boost. Mmm-mm. <laughs> Beautiful! That's what I call a shine. Jet Dry. The best shine every time. How do you rinse? If it's Listerine, you get a healthier mouth. Because adding Listerine to brushing and flossing reduces significantly more plaque. You can feel it working, killing germs, eliminating plaque. With Listerine, rinse any way you want. Take your routine beyond brushing and flossing. Add Listerine. She's lost her blankie. She can't sleep without cuddling something soft. I'll help her get some sleep. Give your family the ultimate in comfort with our very best toilet paper, Cottonelle Ultra. There you go, kid. What happens when you add real flour to the unbeatable no-stick power of Pam? Pam for baking, specially created to evenly reach every nook and cranny so your most challenging baked goods just come out better. Pam for baking, another reason Pam is America's favorite no-stick spray. It's frustrating. Just when you're ready to relax, you feel the compelling urge to move, along with hard-to-describe sensations in your legs. They can even keep you from getting to sleep. It's called Restless Leg Syndrome, or RLS, a recognized medical condition. And for many, there's relief. Requip, the first and only FDA-approved prescription medication for Restless Leg Syndrome. Requip helps relieve the symptoms of RLS. It can help you make peace with your legs. Requip may cause you to fall asleep or feel very sleepy during normal activities such as driving, or to faint or feel dizzy when you stand up. Tell your doctor if you experience these problems or if you drink alcohol or are taking medicines that make you drowsy. Side effects include nausea, drowsiness, vomiting, and dizziness. Most patients were not bothered enough to stop taking Requip. It's good to get comfortable again. Ask your doctor about restless leg syndrome and if Requip is right for you and help put RLS to rest. Who says money doesn't grow on trees? Henry, thank you. No, really. Thank you for helping me. Yeah. In, uh, in the off chance that BJ decides to make a reappearance, uh, I'd rather him not find his stash in my hotel room. So, do you have any bright ideas of where to put a lot of money outside of the track? Uh, I have a safe deposit box. I mean, I'm the only one with the key. I'll take it. Oh, I don't think that. No, no, no. You expect me to trust you with this fortune in green bags? Yeah, Emily. Henry, you idiot. I just confessed to murder one. I will give you your money back whenever you ask me for it. Oh, my God, that's the cops. Where are you parked? Let's go. Oh, we got to get out of here. Go! I know that it's a lot to ask. But if I'm going to go back to work, I need to arrange for a sitter for the boys, a daycare for Sage. And what about the part about splitting these kids up? Was that just talk, Carly? Now, come on, Barbara. <laughs> Take a look around. I'm, I'm clipping coupons here. The 50 cents off um, a six-pack of mac and cheese. That's lunch for my boys for a week. And come on, this, I need a job. I, I know you don't trust me. No, I don't trust you. But you need me, and you need my help, and I need yours. Okay. Okay, I'll give you the money. If you can prove to me that you can split these kids up. How would you like me to do that? Call your sister. Call her. Tell her you want to talk to her about Will. And if she agrees to speak with you, I'll give you the money. Dusty. There you are. I am sorry. I don't mean to interrupt. That's okay. What's going on? 
Uh, could I have a word with you? Oh, you know, um, I'm going to go check on the baby. Jennifer, uh, wait. I, I want to say how ashamed I am of uh, what my daughter did to you. It was a terrible, terrible thing. And I, I hope you'll accept the family's apology. Uh, well, I appreciate your concern, Mrs. Snyder. Thank you. Have a seat. Oh, thank you. Can you two drink? No, no, no. Thank you. Ah, uh, yeah. I want to apologize to you, too, Dusty. I mean, you and Meg, while you left her, it's after over. what she did. It's all over now. I hope so. I hope so. Everyone's moving on. Yes. I came here because, uh, I need to ask you a question, and I... I hope you'll tell me the truth. I always tell you the truth. When you and Meg were together, was she ever on drugs? Meg on drugs? No. No way. Paul? Paul, it's me. It's Meg. It's just me. Put the axe down. Come on, put it down. Where have you been? I went out to get medicine and food, remember? Come here. Come here. What happened? I thought you were going to try and get some sleep. I was asleep, and then I woke up. There were voices. There was somebody here. There's no one out there, Bob. No, there was. There was somebody on the, the doorknob. Moved. She was here. Who was here, Emily? I don't know. Like you can't. You can't leave me like that. When you're not here, I start to think I'm going to die. Okay, well, you won't now, okay? Because I'm here, and I brought you some antibiotics and some food, chocolate, cheese, all kinds of good stuff, okay? And I could stay here for a little while, all right? So it's going to be fine. I just got really scared, that's all. I know, but it's okay now, okay? You can go to sleep. I'll be here when you wake up. Police. Coming up on As the World Turns. I always wanted to help you. I, I just didn't have the money. So where'd you get it? Oh, listen to me. We made a deal. Got it? Have you seen this man? Paul Ryan. Do you mind if I take a look around? We're having a real dinner with real plates and real conversation. Tonight, that pound of hamburger will really come in handy. Get it? Handy? Get it? Handy? Oh, boy. Tonight, it's Hamburger Helper. Cheeseburger macaroni. Macaroni! With one pound of hamburger and one pan, you can make a hearty, home-cooked meal everyone appreciates. Let's give Mom a hand. I'm in. Love you, too. Hamburger Helper. One pound, one pan, one happy family. Do the way. <laughs> Discovered. I discovered. I discovered the surge of moisture in Blistex Complete Moisture. I discovered. I discovered. I discovered soothing medication in Blistex Ointment. Discover Blistex. Discover what your lips are missing. He seems to be speaking words. I got an idea. Farmsteel's <laughs> Bill said Shrek mm -hmm. is the number one comedy in the country. <laughs> That's more like good weight. Yeah, baby. Ready PG now play. Yum. Cream savers. Cream la la cream. Strawberries and cream. Cream la la cream. Orange and cream. Cream Now there are more cream savers to love. Mango, pina colada, banana. New cream savers tropical. Yes, cream yes, life savers. Cream savers. I can't believe I ate that whole thing. Oh, where have I heard that before? I can't believe I ate that whole thing. Okay, I ate it. I can't believe I ate that whole thing. Take your Alka-Seltzer. People overdo it. That's why for 75 years they've reached for Alka-Seltzer to break up and dissolve away stomach discomfort and pain fast. Good night, dear. 
Drop one crumb and you're dead. Alka-Seltzer, a rich history of relief. Tired of long-wearing makeups that are heavy and tight? Revlon introduces Color Stay Makeup now with Softflex. Patented cushion polymers move with your skin to keep the makeup feeling freshly applied. You look flawless all day, all night, whatever your skin type. 16-hour coverage that feels so light, so comfy. You'll forget you're wearing it. New Color Stay Makeup with the beautiful comfort of Softflex. Only from Revlon. I think Walter Gordon had an accomplice. Ah! New CSI, then. We got Gina Hill, a shrink. Does she have issues? All therapists have issues. It got more and more dangerous. New Without a Trace, CBS Tonight. For the first time, Survivor has four tribes, and each week, someone will be sent to Exile Island. The Ultimate Survivor premieres CBS Thursday, February 2nd. Inside the window was a figure with bright yellow eyes that glowed like fire. But the rest is to be continued. Aww. I didn't like to read out loud during school. And now I'm reading to all the guys and I'm really good at it. At Sylvan, we give children the confidence to do more than they ever imagined. We identify your child's unique needs, develop a customized tutoring plan with individual attention, plus online tutoring at home. Don't wait to help your child get a better report card. Call 800-EDUCATE today and help make the next report card a great one. Dr. Phil comes face to face with the mom who heard voices. I'm going to talk with her for the first time. Next, Dr. Phil. Today at 4, only on CBS 2. What do you like best about Sears Dental? They're so nice. I'm not just a patient there. I'm a person. I like saving money. Saving money. If savings make you smile, you'll love Sears Dental. Get a new patient exam with x-rays for just $49. Save $300 on dentures. And braces are as low as $97 per month with no down payment. For great care and extra savings, call Sears Dental at 1-800-47-SMILE today. This little boy right over here scratched your car. I had to call the police because we could not locate the father. Next, Judge Judy. Today at 2 and 3 on CBS 2. Jenna Elfman returns to television in Courting Alex. Premier CBS Monday after Two and a Half Men. Oh. Holden? Yeah? You put those bags away, didn't you? I did, and I uh -huh. have just one more to go. Because of what my mother said? You know what? She's right. She's right. What? The kid's not happy. No, he's just... Uh, he's just trying to protect himself. He's afraid that everything's not going to be all right, but as every day passes, he'll see that this is permanent. It's going to be more than a couple of days. It's been a rough couple of years. Rose died, we almost got divorced. It's almost like he doesn't trust us anymore. I mean, you heard him. He's worried that the luggage might go away. That's why you put it upstairs. That's why I did that. Hopefully he'll walk in the door, he'll see that I'm here to stay. And then... Hopefully he won't worry. Heads up! <laughs> Are you kidding? I can't even lift my arm after what Peterson did to me. The boy is tall. The boy is brutal. <laughs> but hey, you made the shot, you set him down, you're the man. <laughs> right here. What? It's got a knot in my back, I can feel it. You probably pulled a muscle. Thank you, Doctor. You want to help me out with it a little? Like, hello? You want me to give you a back rub? You're slow, but you're quick to catch on. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> Let's just get you settled first, and then I'll worry about me. And if I found something for you, would you take it? Knowing that I had no place to go. Yes, I would. Like hell you would. Okay, I'll, I'll figure something out. I just want you to be someplace safe. I'm going to be safe as long as I'm with you. Gwen, this is serious. We don't have any money and we don't have a place to go. I'm not going anywhere without you. Yep. 
Hey, Gwen, it's me. But please don't hang up. Uh, I'm a little busy here, Carly. Uh, I'm being evicted, remember? I know. I know that you and Will are going through a hard time, and I really want to help. Changed your mind about the money? What's mine is yours. I thought you said that you and Jack were broke. Well, we are. But your family... We'll figure something out. Why don't you come on over? Okay, I'll be right there. I think we're saved. What happened? Carly's giving us $1,000. You asked Carly for money? Yeah, at first she said no, they were broke, but now it sounds like she's gonna come through for us. Look, Gwen, I know that we haven't always gotten along, but we're sisters, and I wanna help you. Yeah, I know you love Will, but think about it. If you, if you love somebody, don't you want what's best for them? Dropping out of school, living on the streets when there are such better options. Okay, why don't you just come on over and we'll talk about it, okay? Okay, see you then. Well, she's gonna come right over, so. And she agreed to talk It's to a start, Barbara. It's a very good start. from someone that I trust that um, there were <sighs> pharmaceuticals and syringes in her handbag. I think that she uh, stole them from the hospital. She was fired, you know that. Mm -hmm. I heard. And I, I, I tried to question her about it and she just got very angry. She wouldn't give me a straight answer. And now she's moved in here and you know she could even afford this place when she did have a job. It just doesn't make any sense. I, uh, I know that the two of you aren't seeing each other any longer, but uh, if you, uh, if you do hear anything, please, uh, will you let me know? Of course, I'm, I'm very worried about it. It's okay. Her. Look at me. It's okay. I'm gonna call you if I hear anything. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Dustin. Thank you. It's the police. Open up or I'm coming in. Who the hell are you? Uh, Oakdale Police Department, ma'am. Are you here alone? Yeah, I'm alone. What are you doing here in the woods? That deer uh, hold up a liquor store? <laughs> funny. But if it's all the same to you, I'll ask the questions here. What's your name? Meg Snyder. Jackson Jack Snyder. Yeah, he's my cousin. Would you want to tell me what you're doing out here in the middle of nowhere? Why, is there a law against spending a weekend at a friend's cabin? No, it's uh, just not every day you can come across a beautiful woman like yourself alone in a cabin. <laughs> Cute. Uh, well, the uh, sad truth is I'm going through a midlife crisis kind of thing, so if you don't mind... Oh, we're not done. Yeah, by all means, Detective, whatever you need. Have you seen this man? Paul Ryan. You don't? <laughs> well, half of Oakdale knows him. But have you seen him? Not lately. Why? Because he's a fugitive. So what else is new? Do you mind if I take a look around? choose a Medicare drug plan. Oh, the big fight's about to start. Well, you don't want a big fight to start in here, do you? Besides, you could be saving money. Wait just a minute. How much? Says here Pacific Air could save you hundreds, even thousands of dollars. Thousands? <laughs> One thing the good old days didn't have is Medicare drug coverage. Now, if you're Medicare eligible, Prescription Solutions from Pacific Care makes the new drug coverage even better, offering a variety of plans starting under $23 a month in many states, with no $250 Medicare plan deductible. Call us anytime, 24 hours a day, to get our free prescription drug plan information kit. 
say, Fred, you can even choose popular brand name drugs. But generics are cheaper. Well, they've got those, too. So I get to choose for myself? Yep. They don't tell me what to do? That's right. Well, that'll be a refreshing change. Oh, Fred. At Pacific Care, we believe freedom is the best medicine. That's why we offer multiple plans, starting under $23 a month in many states. Plus, all of our plans save you Medicare's $250 plan deductible. Call now to get started. Our sales specialists are ready to help you choose the plan that's right for you and send you this free prescription drug plan information kit with no obligation. It contains a helpful organizer as well as details on how Medicare Part D works and how Pacificare makes it better. Look, you can save even more with home delivery. That ought to be right up your alley. Where? I don't see that. It's right there. Lucky for you, they have additional vision programs, too. In addition to our Medicare drug plans, Pacificare also offers dental and vision programs starting at just $5 a month. Another way to give you the freedom to choose. Call now for information on how to start saving. If Fred could have done it, he would have. Pick your pair deal at Pizza Hut. Buy two medium pizzas with up to two toppings on any one of our famous crusts for only $6.99 each. Want even more toppings? Now you can load them up any way you want for just a dollar more per pizza. Gather around the good stuff. You dust and dust, and then the dust is back again. So next time, dust with Pledge. Unlike dry dusting, Pledge does more than remove dust. It keeps your wood looking less dusty longer. The beauty of Pledge is that you dust less. How you doing? I'm Scott. I think my eyes are up here. I, w I don't even like him, although he probably thinks I do. Why would he think that? You two are undressing each other with your eyes. We're not. Step, step. Courting Alex premieres CBS Monday. Alfre Woodard, Jeff Hefner. Color children understand whipping. They also need to see how the world works. Hallmark Hall of Fame's The Water is Wide. CBS January 29th. What is the problem? Nothing. I just, I, I, I don't, I don't think it's appropriate for me to be giving you a back rub. Appropriate? Look, I'm not asking you the prom. I just got a knot in my back the size of my fist. All right. It hurts when I breathe. Okay, okay, okay. Well, where is it? Here. No, you know, today would be nice, or I could wait for tomorrow, but then I think my arm would fall off. Higher. Yeah. All righty. One thousand buckaroonies. Mm -hmm. You can buy all the mac and cheese your little heart desires. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Barbara. I'll be in first thing tomorrow, and you can, um, you can take this out of my pay. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Just remember, we have a bargain. You have to split those kids up, all right? Yeah, well, that's the goal, but Gwen is on her way over here, so I don't want her to see you. I am going, I am going, and I am counting on you. You and me both. Uh, uh. Okie dokie. Now all I have to do is deposit this check and write one of my own. Did you mean it? Are you gonna give us the money? I was just writing you a check. <sighs> Emma's right. I mean, Meg can't afford the lake view. And why is she carrying around syringes in her purse? Maybe she has a friend who's diabetic. She doesn't have a lot of friends. Well, there's a good reason for that. For her mother to be this worried, Jen. What? <laughs> what happened to telling each other everything? Hey, I'm, I'm just wondering, if, if Meg is no longer your problem, then why are we still talking about her? Trust me, Detective, I'd know if Paul Ryan was hiding out in my cabin. There'd be a dead body on the floor. We weren't exactly friends. Really? Yeah, really. So, uh, 
Why don't you be a good cop and find him? And when you do, you can lock him up and throw away the key. What did he do to you? What didn't he do to me? Paul Ryan is a selfish monster. He hurts anybody that comes near him. But I have to ask you if you let me come in and take a look around. I just want to make sure nobody's holding you against your will. Well, who knows? I may enjoy that. See, just a uh, little old me. See him. Yeah, I'll tie him up and call you. You can just phone 911. How's that? Yeah. Uh, don't forget to mention me to Jack. He's gonna find my car. Okay, well, let him. It doesn't mean you're here. You don't understand. We need to get out of here right now. Dad, it's the Army Reserve. It's the Army. No. I can still go to college. It's the Army. I'm gonna be part of something that's important. And it's the reserve, so they'll train me around here until they need me. Good training. It's the army. Well, mama, don't you make me another meatloaf. Forget the mac and cheese. I want some fun piled on a bun. I want a man which please. Make tonight a man which night. I want a man which please. The thing is, everyone wants to save money on their car insurance. You asking if they want a free Geico quotes like asking if they want free oh, pie and chips. Of course they want free pie and chips. It's pie with chips for free. But pie and chips, uh, you can get them anywhere. Geico quotes made from scratch just for you. Only at Geico.com. Geico. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. The simple little things in life that that you just can't do anymore. Something as simple and normal as walking. I look at photos I had before my surgery, and I can see the pain in my face. I talked to an orthopedic surgeon, and he asked me when I was ready to do this, and I said yesterday. There are advancements in knee replacement technology, like knees designed to bend and rotate, allowing a more natural movement. To learn more about knee replacement, call 1-800-985-KNEE. I tell my patients that knee replacement is not for everyone. I worked hard at rehab. Success depends on factors like age, weight, and activity level. Their potential risks and recovery takes time. I also check for any conditions that may interfere with surgery or rehabilitation. I'm sorry that I waited to have surgery. Ask your surgeon if knee replacement's right for you or call 1-800-985-KNEE. Arthritic pain is not the end of your life. Your surgery can be the beginning of your life. A message from Depew Orthopedics Incorporated, a Johnson & Johnson company. husband anymore. We're not going to give up on this marriage. You are the only woman in my life that I can believe in. Is it remotely possible that you could take me back? The Bold and the Beautiful, CBS Daytime. This was a mistake. So order the latte. If someone saw us, oh, there's Emily and that nice Mr. Henry Coleman coming out of the woods together. What's going on? They were just having great sex in the woods, Henry. <sighs> Don't look now, it's cops. Oh, Detective Kazanov. What are you doing? Hi. Do you mind coming out? Hi. Uh, I was just wondering, any any sign of Paul? Uh, no such luck yet, but I'll keep you posted. Oh, okay. What? The... See? One clear. Uh, Emily. 
I saw that man throw himself on a bomb to save Katie Peretti. He is not going to give up easily. You see, what you're forgetting is that as far as the cops are concerned, Paul jumped bail. He's in flight to escape prosecution. The last thing they're even thinking about is murder. Listen to me. We made a deal. Okay, you help me shove Paul's car into the river, and I'm going to take all that lovely cash and hide it in my safe deposit box so no more second guessing, no more doubting. Got it? From now on, we trust each other. Trust each other? You and me? Huh. All the things I'm grateful for this year. You being home. Family being back together again. You and Luke making peace. We were never at war. No, he was angry with you. We know that. Yeah, I guess he was. He needs his father. Now that you're home, everything's gonna be all right. I hope Just so. know it. Yes, it is. Unfortunately, what? I need to go check on a horse. Oh. Okay. Bring him a little <laughs> sugar. <laughs> Would you? <laughs> You got the touch. Did you change your mind? Gwen, I didn't change my mind. I always wanted to help you. I, I just didn't have the money. So where'd you get it? You said you and Jack were broke. What'd you do, rob a bank? Yeah, right. Can you imagine that? Put them up. <laughs> I'm not taking this until you tell me where you got the money. Looks like somebody's moving out. I didn't hear you knock. Don't be like that, Will. Don't be like what? Mad that you put pressure on Dad to get us evicted? Your father agrees with me. He wants you home and back in school. Oh, my God. Goodbye, Mom. You know what? Honey, if you don't want to live with me, you can always go live with your father. No, thank you. You're not going to be sleeping on the street, Will. I'm not... No, I'm not going to be sleeping on the street. What do you think your options are? You don't have any money. I found an apartment. Who's going to rent you an apartment without a down payment, Will? Gwen has money. Really? Since when? Since her sister called. She's giving us $1,000. Okay, I'm not saying that you don't have a right to worry about Meg, but from my experience, from what I've heard, she's a lost cause. Okay, she, she breaks the rules, she lies, she keeps secrets, and I don't, I don't think that that's going to change anytime soon. You might be right. So maybe we should just steer clear of her. I mean, like you said, this is our time, okay? And I don't think we need to get wrapped up in whatever Meg has going on. Let it go. Can you please sit down and let me change your dress? Something, Meg, you don't understand. That cop is gonna find my car and he's gonna come back. Okay, okay. Oh, uh, you are in no condition to travel, okay? Uh, even? If you were, Dick Tracy here would make sure of it. Okay, you keep this up and you're gonna end up dead. And then it won't matter if the cops find you. Please, that's such a bad idea. Are you talking about dead? I mean, no more Paul Ryan? Maybe. Maybe that's not such a bad idea. What are you talking about? That's perfect. Heck, you're a genius. Is your fever coming back? No, listen. That's how we get out of this. Paul Ryan has to die.
on the next As the World Turns. Stop asking me questions and go and tell Will that you're covered. Actually, Gwen, if I were you, I'd save the thanks. What do you think of Kevin? Why, did he do something? I just think that maybe Luke should be spending a little less time with him. That's all. Tell me everything you know about your cousin, Meg. You're dead. You're talking about making people believe you're dead. It's the only way I'm ever going to get out of this. This is my medicine shop. This is a true story. Well, Sarah came in to have her new prescription filled, and I saw that she could have a potential reaction to something in the medicine. She said the doctor told her that it was okay, but since she lives alone, I didn't want to take any chances. If she had a serious reaction, there'd be no one around to help her. Well, with Sarah's permission, I called her doctor and found an alternative. I called her and I gave her the news. Hi, Sarah, it's Jenny at Medicine Shop. And she said, Jenny, that's why I trust you, because you really care. The Medicine Shop Pharmacy, caring beyond prescriptions. better introducing all small and mighty detergent it has three times concentrated power to get your biggest dirtiest loads clean small bottle mighty clean he did it new all small and mighty detergent has three times concentrated power to get your biggest dirtiest loads clean small bottle mighty clean Tampax Pearl gives you awesome protection plus a unique leak-catching braid. The braid makes you brave. The clump stops here. CoverGirl is changing the mascara rules. Want amazing lashes? Gotta get the tool. CoverGirl Lash Exact takes the mess out of mascara. Like that. The breakthrough? The brush. Each bristle is placed exactly evenly. No mess here, no clumps here. Lashes are defined, aligned, totally refined. See, messing with mascara, that's old school. Want it easy breezy? Gotta get the tool. New Lash Exact Mascara. Easy breezy, beautiful cover girl. Uh, which tastes better? Oh, the Pringles taste better. <laughs> Maybe it's a can you like. No. It's a Pringles. Pringles. They just taste better. helps build stronger bones and healthy bodies. So make sure you get three servings each and every day. Delicious milk, yogurt, and cheese dishes are the highlight of every Super Bowl party. For easy, crowd-pleasing recipes with dairy, visit 3 -a .org. Don't forget to rinse those dishes first. That'll take forever. There's no need to rinse with Electrosol 3-in-1. It's 3-in-1 formula lifts stains, cleans, and shines for 100% clean dishes. Ooh, sparkly. Electrosol 3-in-1 tabs. Hardburn's back. Deal me back in. You mean out. Tumsy X can't keep acid from coming back. Choose the juice that work fast and last. Maalox Antacid Barrier. Fast relief plus a long-lasting protective barrier. Maalox Antacid Barrier. Everyone else gets out but her. Now, the only clue is from the victim. It says right there the phone it came from, 2004. So she sent this photo to herself. They blindfolded us. It was a joke. You never told a soul. Poor girl got caught in the vortex. Cold case, CBS Sunday. Mom, your new carpet looks great. But wasn't your in-home appointment with Empire yesterday? Yep, and they installed our new carpet today. Empire brought samples right to our home.